Pagen launches new financial platform. Pagen has launched its new financial platform, designed for SMBs to automate invoice payments and improve the management of vendor relationships. Network international partners with codebase technologies. Digital banking tech provider Codebase Technologies has announced a partnership with digital commerce enabler Network International to launch a banking as a service, BOSS, solution in the Levant region. Atom Bank partners with Kama. UK based Atom Bank has partnered with climate tech company Kama to address the risks of climate change. Miracle. Havas to expedite e-commerce and retail media growth. SaaS platform Miracle has announced a global partnership with communications network Havas to expedite e-commerce and retail media growth. NEOPAY partners with Alipay. UAE-based NEOPAY has partnered with Alipay Plus to expand its digital payments offering for merchants in the region. Alipay partners with Saudi Tourism Authority. Alipay Plus and the Saudi Tourism Authority have partnered to introduce Alipay Plus to Saudi Arabia, aiming to provide a mobile payment experience for Asian tourists. Shift 4 partners with Amazon. US based integrated payments firm Shift 4 has partnered with Amazon in order to deliver customers a checkout free shopping experience at stadiums and arenas. Apple Wallet app to show current account balances from UK banks. Apple has leveraged the UK's Open Banking API to allow users banking with select institutions see their bank balance within the Wallet app on iPhones. Nexi Group becomes an Adobe Gold Level Technology Partner. European Paytech Nexi has joined Adobe as Gold Partner, enabling personalized payment options in Italy, Poland, Nordic, and DACH regions. ANZ Worldline Partners with Alipay. ANC Worldline Payment Solutions has partnered with Alipay Plus in order to allow customers and businesses in Australia to accept payments through the latter's services. MindBridge adds four transaction risk discovery products to its platform. Canada-based financial risk discovery and anomaly detection company MindBridge has added four new products to its platform. Apple faces private antitrust lawsuit. Apple has been ordered to face a private antitrust lawsuit, being accused of preventing competition for its Apple Pay mobile wallet. Quadiant and Coface to offer advanced customer risk management. Quadiant and Coface have partnered for advanced risk management, starting in France and expanding to the US and UK markets. Quoka partners with Identfi for identity verification. Lithuania-based RegTech Identfi has announced a partnership with Germany-based online marketplace Quoka to help build a simplified identity verification experience. Shufti Pro partners with Economy. ID verification solution provider Shufti Pro has partnered with Economy to offer users a secure real-world asset-backed DEX. JP Morgan offers account validation services to the U.S. government. JP Fireblocks acquires Blockfold. U.S.-based cryptocurrency custody company Fireblocks has bought Blockfold, a smart contract development and consulting company, to enrich its tokenization capabilities. Zumo launches platform that meets requirements of the FCA's regime for crypto assets. Zumo has announced a digital asset platform that integrates tech-based requirements of the FCA's new financial promotions regime for crypto asset firms. Canada's Interac broadens access to e-transfer service. 
Canadian Debit Network Interac is broadening access to its e-transfer service beyond regulated banks and credit unions, with Wealthsimple the first new player to join. U.S. judge orders Apple to face Apple Pay antitrust suit. A U.S. judge has told Apple it must face an antitrust class action lawsuit from card issuers accusing the firm of preventing competition to its Apple Pay wallet. WFE's regulatory affairs head on the risks of unregulated crypto trading platforms. Using the term exchange can be misleading if you're not doing these things, said Richard Metcalf, head of regulatory affairs at the World Federation of Exchanges, WFE, when speaking to Finextra after laying out their six recommendations for regulators and crypto trading platforms. Zumo first to conform to FCA's tech-based crypto promotion rules. Zumo has become the first digital asset platform to integrate tech-based requirements of the Financial Conduct Authorities, FCA's, new financial promotions regime for crypto set firms. Disjointed open banking system in U.S. leaves opening for permission data providers. In the United States, the vast number of financial institutions and the absence of federal regulation around consumer access to bank data have resulted in a fragmented open banking landscape. Apron raises US$15 million United States dollars in funding round. UK-based startup Apron has raised US$15 million United States dollars in a Series A funding round led by Index Ventures. Repay teams up with Omnia Partners. U.S.-based Repay Holdings Corporation has teamed up with Omnia Partners in order to add Repay's automated AP services to the latter's portfolio of national supplier contracts. Tempo France and N Tokens launch high-tech remittances to Brazil. Tempo France and N Tokens have launched high-tech remittances to Brazil from the EU countries by leveraging Arminotech design solutions based on the Stellar blockchain platform. FCA calls for era of new enlightenment for financial inclusion. At the Scottish Financial Enterprise, extending financial inclusion event in Glasgow this afternoon, CEO of the Financial Conduct Authority, FCA, Nikhil Roddy delivered a speech on how the regulator plans to implement policies to include the financially excluded in the current cost of living crisis, calling it a new enlightenment for financial inclusion. This concludes our current edition of the Bay Pay Forum podcast. Remember that you can read the full text of each article in our news section on baypayforum.com. We hope to see you tomorrow.